What's up guys, what's going on? Camp out coming at you with a review. As you can see, uh, gel mine across the top of this bitch, so it's an ASICS. Uh, ASICS Tiger USA, so shout outs to ASICS Tiger USA. Um, gel my GTX Birch Dark Forest. This is a collaboration with Beams, if you guys were unfamiliar. ASICS Tiger across the side of this box in a very camo inspired layout. Uh, gonna get to the shoes. All right, so back at it. Um, yeah, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I really like the gel mine. <laughs> uh, just a heads up on that. So I'm going to turn this one up and turn the other one up also, just so you could see what's going on here. So obviously you have different uh, contrasting materials on this. And on top of that, you also have different layouts as to where the colors are on the shoes. So the right shoe will go through first on your toe cap here. You got an on it. I'm, I'm going to give you this right now. The, the material on the shoe is very, very plush, very, very premium. Just a heads up. I'm going to darken this one touch. Sorry, I just wanna get a little bit more contrast on here. Let's go a little lower. So toe cap on the right shoe, green. Uh, following along this little side lateral panel here is uh, like a camel beige, brownish, light brown. Very, very plush going up the entire thing and then it gets cut off by the last grommet or this plastic pull area um, for or the tensioner, basically, for the lace area. It goes to the black suede, very, very plush. You got ripstop underneath there. So if you guys can see the, the cross diagonals on here or the little squares on here, all the underlays in this deeper brown color are that ripstop. You got ripstop down the tongue also up against the neoprene sock liner in the back. Usually the tongue is very, very thin on the gel mai and just one material. This is, uh, it's very, very comfortable on this shoe. I have worn them obviously. Uh, very, very comfortable shoe. I like the gel mai a lot. It's super low, but it's very, very comfortable at the same time. So uh, kudos to Asics for that bad boy. But down the center portion of the uh, the tongue itself in the asymmetrical shaping. You have the ASICS branding and I guess it's like two different, oh, it's two tonal. So it's like a light brown, then it goes to a lighter brown or more of a uh, caramel into a light brown with a stripe of brown going down it. Uh, we'll get into the laces in a second, then we'll switch to the medial side here and the light brown again going across this other little cage area, which gets lifted up. Like it's uh, it's very free, the sneaker. Uh, rip stop underneath that and that darker brown, that little use portion here in black nylon, is it nylon? Yeah, it's like black nylon. And then again, another nylon hit in a lighter brown, very, very clean. Uh, up in the upper area where the tensioner goes on the medial side is a light green or a dark forest green. I'm sorry, not light green. Very, very plush new buck, oily pigskin, very, very clean. Rolling into the heel portion, you have this green hit against the caramel color, again, with that plush material. Midsole is white with a light brown ASICS Tiger logo and a somewhat gum outsole with a nice little orange hit where the gel portion is in the heel. Very, very clean. We'll switch over to the left shoe. So everything is kind of askew on this one. So center portion or rolling up the medial side is the green new buck. Very, very plush. On the medial side here, you have instead of black, you have green. Let me brighten it back up so you guys can see again. Schwimmy. So instead of the black, you have the green and then you have a black hit underneath that. The ripstop that's on the underlay of this one is a light brown, obviously contrasting to the brown or the darker brown that's on the right shoe. Continuing along, you got a brown hit towards the upper tensioner area on the left shoe and then rolling to the heel portion, you got that light brown ripstop again and a different piping. So I don't know if you guys can see it or not. So one is green and one is brown. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to like show you that the best way I'm gonna bring a little closer. So you can see the left shoe is brown and it's much darker inside the right shoe. So everything has been mixed matched on these two shoes, very, very clean. And while we're back here, we're looking at the heel portion already. So you can see that it's a black pull tab or black back pull tab area in that new buck with a brown uh, plastic wrapping around it. So obviously differences there. We'll roll to the lateral side. I'll keep lateral up on the bottom here so you guys can see what's going on. But you got that dark brown going across the lateral side from the toe cap, stretching up the lateral with the light brown underlay rip stop down the tongue again with the neoprene except this time the split is black on the left side or actually it's, it, i guess that's the one thing that's the same on the two shoes is it's black on both sides of the contrast so i guess yeah that's the one thing that's exactly the same even the pull tab area black and green differentiates on the lateral side but once again back to light brown dark brown over back up to the green green wrapping into the light brown rip stop same thing on did they switch up the color on the midsole no so midsole is the same again white with the light brown asics logo here and the somewhat 
I guess, gum outsole with the orange hit again. Very, very comfortable. I have worn them already. Uh, sorry, the review is coming so late, but I picked them up and just threw them on. <laughs> anyway, uh, one set of laces that came in here. So it's like a very woodland foresty camo kind of rope lace with browns, light browns and greens going up it. Beams is actually stamped on the lace agalette, which I don't know if you guys are gonna be, you're not gonna be able to see that. It's too dark. I'll bring it a little bit closer. You might be able to see the writing in there, but it does say beams. And I also left out that it does say beams on the left portion or the left tongue area. Also stamped inside the footbed in orange would be Asics and Beams. Asics and Beams written the exact same way in both shoes. And uh, overall, just a very, very well executed shoe. The uh, the liner on the inside, it's got the nylon neoprene feel to it. So very, very comfortable. And I did mention before that the rise is kind of low in here. So it throws you off a little bit because there's so much midsole, but it's, it's on foot, I think it's a very, very fire shoe. Like a lot of people don't like it here, but on foot, I think it looks just uh, as appealing to me. Uh, in hand as it does on foot. Last but not least, these are a size 11.5. Uh, I usually do like anywhere from a 10 to an 10 and a half to 11. Uh, I tried these on in store for some reason, the 11 and a half just fit uh, way better. So I stuck with the 11 and a half, but typically I do uh, true to size in the gel my, and that works out just fine. Just in this one case, it didn't. It could have been my foot that day, I don't know, but either way, is what it is. Um, stay true to size. I, I wouldn't go too far off the beaten path when it comes to that, but I'm gonna get out of here. The on foot is coming right after this, so stay tuned. If you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions, comments, hit me in the comment section. And as always, I am out of here. Peace.